Marge Schott's name to be removed from University of Cincinnati Baseball Stadium. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below. The University of Cincinnati announced on Tuesday that it will remove Marge Schott's name from its baseball stadium and school library. Schott, the former Cincinnati Reds owner who died in 2004, was known for her offensive views towards multiple ethnic groups, including African Americans, Jewish Americans and Asian Americans. She was suspended by the MLB from 1996 to 1998 after she made statements in support of Adolf Hitler. Schott said Hitler was good in the beginning, but went too far. MLB planned 60-game slate, shortest since 1878 as Union Box Schott also described two of her star players with the adjective million dollar followed by the N-word plural, she didn't understand why people found the slur Jap offensive, and she referred to gay men as fruits. Back during the 1996 home opener, an umpire died on the field, and she said she felt cheated, which ultimately led to her being pressured into selling her majority share of the Reds. Former University of Cincinnati baseball player Jordan Ramey led the charge to remove Schott's name from the school, petitioning the university that black kids should not be made to play and represent a name such as hers and white kids should not be celebrating her legacy subconsciously. Former Boston Red Sox player Kevin Euclid, who spent 10 years in the majors, was in full support of it. He even said that if he had the field at the stadium named after him, he would make a donation. Click here for more sports coverage on Fox News. Comshot's name was on the baseball stadium since 2006, after a $2 million donation to the school by the Marge and Charles Schott Foundation. After the announcement, the foundation said in a statement, While we cannot make excuses for the rhetoric made by Mrs. Schott decades ago, we can ask you to learn from Mrs. Schott's mistakes as well as her great love for Cincinnati. We appreciate what these great organizations bring to Cincinnati and to view the full article. Click the first link in the description below.